Welcome back, part 21, Persona 4 Golden. Walking over here. Can't walk past Nanako. Okay, whatever. Sure. Spend the evening with her. Get that social link advancing. Home. Oh, hey, look, it's Dojima. Sorry. Great, so she ran out the door in the middle of the night, so now we gotta go look for her. Fantastic. She's not at either one of those locations that they just mentioned, by the way. Wow, so thorough. Exactly. What? No, I'm not her dad. Please. Oh. Hooray. Never run off again, please. Onions, mushrooms, 
Beans, green peppers, and radishes? Mm, I'm not sure are if that's right. The same as turnips? No, no, radishes are not the same as turnips. Curry's fine, right? It's practically our national food. We were going back and forth between ramen and curry, but I thought ramen might not be enough for you guys. Hmm, I wonder what kind of ingredients Yosuke likes. I get the feeling he's real picky. He's on another floor, isn't he? Do you want me to go ask? Nah, no need. Plus, he said he needed to get ready for something. Hmm. Hey, Chie, you use potato starch for curry, right? Something tells me this curry is going to be a nightmare. Uh, of course you do. Otherwise, the sauce would be thick. Then we need potato starch and some flour, too. There's different kinds of flour! Which one should we get? All purpose? Whole wheat? Hmm, whole wheat sounds healthy. Let's get that one. And here they are. You're able to get starch in the cooler section. It's not curry if it isn't spicy. Okay. Oh well, let's just get everything that seems right. How about some kimchi too? Ooh, and some ground pepper. There's two kinds though, black and white. Whoa, way to go, Yukiko. The Amagi family sure knows their stuff. Let's get both, just in case. Oh yeah, we'll need some special ingredients too to spice things up. I remember seeing something on TV about that. I think it was, um... I have no idea what they're going on about at this point. Yogurt? How about mint chocolate? Ooh, I love that stuff. I don't like coffee that much, though. Oh, I can drink mocha, so let's get that. What about some seafood? That should make the sauce taste better. These two have no idea what they're doing. You can already tell. Uh, hey, Dojima. What's up? Yeah, let's spend some time. You guessed it. It's totally about his wife. Let's not. Sure, I guess. You could see Dojima's pain. Turns into the pain from Metal Gear Solid 3. That would be an interesting little twist. Dojima gets put inside the TV, turns into the pain from Metal Gear Solid 3.
picking up all that trash was murder on my back. I can't believe someone threw away an entire bike. Damn it, litterers should have to deal with their own garbage. Anyways, time for dinner. Man, I'm starving. Dude, the girls cook just for us. Not that I expect much out of Chie, but Yukiko's got the full tradition of the Amagi in behind her food. You know it's gonna be out of this world. <sighs> you shouldn't eat it. Oh, no way. I'm not falling for that. You just want it all for yourself, huh? I can't wait to dig in. All right, buddy. Should we oh, look at that. It even looks like poison huh? from the fumes. Only if you do it first. Oh, man, here it comes. Uh, sorry for the wait. Um, we put a lot of love into it. Well, really? That's kind of cliche, but still awesome. Okay then, chow time. <laughs> hey, what the hell is this? I mean, what kind of curry's supposed to be like really spicy or kind of mild? This just stinks. Gritty too. It's somehow both gritty and slimy, and it's got squishy parts in it. It's so freaking nasty, I can't even swallow it. Well, it just didn't mix too well, but it does offer. They're horrible cooks. Of texture. It's nauseating. Man. Come on, it's not that bad. That's just your opinion. Well, that's just like your Don't opinion, man. Wouldn't even joke about trying that slop. You know what? Let's see how bad it really is. Hanako over there looks like she's eating with her hands. No utensils, just straight out. The only one without scooping it up with her hand and eating it. If it was even slightly edible, that'd be one thing. But I'm not taking another bite of this mystery food X. Something smells good. Hanako. I don't have any choice. And besides, she owes me, considering what she did to my motorcycle. Hey, uh, Hanako. You wouldn't happen to have any extra curry left, huh? Come on, give us some! We're begging you! We're starving to death here! No way! I'm on a diet right oh. now, so this is all that I made. It has to last- You were not on a diet. All that you made? If by it diet like you mean you will die hole. eating that, sure. Oh my god. Ugh. Ugh. But our cell phones don't get service up here. And dinner time's almost over. Alright, back to your tents. Men's tents are this way, and the girls' tents are that way. Come on, people, look alive! Youngsters like yourselves should hurry up and get to bed after they eat. It's now time for us teachers to have some boo. I mean, uh, after bed. Lights out. You guys are gonna pay for this. Moroka might be a drunkard. Does it really surprise you though? This is 
so hungry. And how the hell did you end up here? My teach threatened to hold me back a year if I didn't show. And the first year's tent is all quiet, like someone died. Well, if you were in there with him, I'm not surprised. Is it just you two in this tent? The other guys called in sick. Smart move. So it's okay if I hang out here? Sure. Hey, you're a stand-up guy, senpai. Don't worry, I won't make any trouble for you. They won't catch me unless we raise a ruckus. All right, all right, you can sleep over there. Dude, there's a huge rock under there. How am I supposed to sleep? Hurt like hell. Pipe down. Didn't you say you weren't gonna make any noise? Yo, senpai. Can't you go just a little further back? Nope. There's a slope just past here. I'd roll down the hill in my sleep. If you don't like it here, go back to the first year tent. Hey, wasn't your teacher some guy called King Moron? That guy stopped me outside earlier and he pissed me off so bad I was about to lose it. He was going on and on about when I was in middle school. When he doesn't know shit about any of that. Not only that, he was bullshitting about how I'll be expelled immediately if I cause trouble. That ain't funny, man. Yeah, that guy set a speed record for jumping to conclusions. True. Check this out, right? I heard it from a guy in my class. He said that asshole was talking shit about the two girls who died. King Moron was talking about Ms. Yamano and Saki-senpai? It was like, it's no surprise that people who are unfaithful or run away from home meet a bad end. I don't know, maybe he was exaggerating. Everyone seems to hate that son of a bitch Moraoka. Damn, I could just picture him saying that. He never shut up about me either when I moved here last year. Not that I remember anything he said. Even if it's only a little true, it still pisses me off. The dickhead's a damn teacher, for God's sake. Nah, don't waste your energy getting pissed at that clown. Yeah, now, wait a point. second. Wait a sec. What are you eating? <laughs> Animal cracker? What the? Those are mine! Damn it! I was so pumped about finding the penguin today. Penguin? The secret animal cracker! You were eating them and you didn't know that? Are the secret serious? animal cracker? Well, you should have said something. Oh well. Oh, this isn't gonna fill me up. Let's just go to sleep. That's all you gotta say for yourself after taking my snacks. Kanji, don't you have more space on your side? And I can't sleep over there. Or my back's gonna break. Oh, okay. Uh, hey. Yeah? Why'd you come to this tent? <laughs> I already told you. Jeez, wrong with you. This is as good a time as any, so... Oh, uh, come on. Really? Still gonna uh, interrogate him about the whole okay. bathhouse thing? Are you really... You know... Am I really what? Well, what I mean is... Um... Are we gonna be safe alone with you? What? <laughs> what the hell is that supposed to mean? I already told you guys I'm not like that. Well, then why are you all hot and bothered about it? That's just more suspicious. Hell no! We settled this already, damn it. Right now I'm. Well, how do I put it? Uh. Oh, God, don't trail off like that. You're freaking me out. I'm trying to tell you that I have no problem being around girls now. Can you prove it? <laughs> prove it? Because if you can't, we're going to be stuck here all night, half scared to death. <laughs> to hell with this. If that's what you really oh, no. Me, then I'm going to go hit the girls' tent right now. <clears throat> uh, wait, well, that's a little extreme. You don't have to go that far. They'll expel you if they find you. Don't tell me you forgot. King Moron's got his eye on you. Yeah, like that stop a man like me. Dude, seriously going for it. Hey, man, you gotta stop him. Hmm. 
Ow. You think I'm gonna put up with this crap? I'll show you guys. To hell with King Moron. No one's stopping Kanji Tatsumi, damn it. Uh, hey, wait! I declare myself not responsible for anything that happens. It's true, we're not responsible for any trouble he may be getting in at this point. The Saiyan. Now I get why we're the only three in here. I can't sleep. Oh, I'm hungry too. I should have eaten a little more of that curry. You might have knocked us unconscious. Sheesh. Can't sleep. Can't walk around. I wonder what Teddy's doing right now. Being alone all day is pretty rough when you think about it. You know, a while ago he... <sighs> Climbing down the mountain is a good idea. Do you think she'd stop snoring if I covered her nose and mouth? No, do not. No, oh, God, no. You will kill her. Well, she will stop snoring, though. I think that's 100% accurate. So there was no way we could sleep with him lying there, and you know, if we woke him up, he might have made a fuss. That's why we left him there. What? That makes no sense. He busted into your tent, then suddenly fainted. Listen up! Being insolent and being indecent are very different things. It's him. He's right outside. Hey, turn the light off. Hey, are you two in there? Answer me. We're not here. Ah, so you're in there. Is Hanamura already asleep? Yes, sir. Fast asleep, sir. Don't get cute, Hanamura. Shut up and go back to sleep. <sighs> Ugh. Ah, I think I had one too many. I'm so sleepy. <laughs> it's pretty good. That's called tension, kids. Span? No joke. We were nearly expelled. Hey, this is you guys' fault. What, what, what else are we supposed to do? Anyways, we can't leave now. We'll sneak out before the others wake up tomorrow. Is that good enough for you? What are you so pissed off for? You better not try any funny stuff while we're asleep. Is that clear? Hey, we didn't say you could. Damn it. You owe us for this.
This part's death. Oh, maybe not. Okay, yeah. This part's gonna run a little bit over, but sure. It's pretty Looks important. Like we're the only ones here. What's wrong? You got a stomach ache? No, it's just. I thought I got pissed and ran out of the tent last night. It's so weird. Was it a dream? I woke up. I was in Yosuke's senpai's tent. It, it, it was a dream. Must have been a dream. <laughs> okay. All right then. Let's get swimming. Are you seriously taking a swim? I'll pass. I'm still all stiff. What are you looking at us for? If you guys want to swim, go right ahead. You know, you two still owe us. Huh? Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> We're not going in there. I mean, we do owe you, but... Oh, yeah! We don't have swimsuits with us. Man, of all the luck. Yeah, it really is unfortunate. <laughs> oh, I see how it is. We put up with your dinner, we save you from King Moron, and you won't even have some fun with us in the river. No, it's really too bad. It'd be no problem if I had just had a swimsuit. <laughs> Ta-da! I've got you covered! <laughs> I just think of that scene from uh, from Jingle All the Way where Arnold Schwarzenegger is just like, I'm not a pervert. I'm just buying swimsuits for my two classmates. That's just, yeah, that is kind of wrong. Yes, he had those the whole time. Come on, let's all go swimming. Yosuke might be a bit of a pervert. You know, we really were looking forward to dinner. This seems kind of strange. I don't know if I would night. feel comfortable with this. We get it already. Sheesh, you just never let things go. Alright, that's more like it. How far off did those two go to get changed? Come on, let's get in. Whoa, man! Stop staring like that! Hey! Ellipses! Ellipses! Master of ellipses! Why are you all quiet? Yosuke's the one who chose these suits, not us! Man, this is going even better than I expected! Kind of makes up for having to eat that mystery food X last night. And come on, you guys got to admit I chose some good suits. Those girls might be childish on the inside, but I bet they're gonna turn into some fine-looking women. Before yeah, Yosuke's a pervert. Don't you think so? Um, yeah, I don't know about that. You guys crossed the line. Definitely. Ah. <laughs> Yosuke and you are weak from paralysis. Push us in. Who cares? You were going in the river anyway. They brought this on themselves. Jeez. Aren't they the worst, Kanji Kun? Hey, you've been awful quiet. Are you feeling okay? D don't tell me the injuries from yesterday are still. Uh. Oh. Gotta love that trope. Ew! <laughs> that was close. For those of you who don't know what exactly what that means that for? for anime tropes, I'll just let you look it up and won't we'll go into detail about it here. Hey, what's gotten into you? something over there oh <laughs> yep so that's why no one else was here good thing we noticed before we went in senpai 
Don't say it. <laughs> oh, man. So, that's going to do it for part 21 of Persona 4 Golden, the school trip now completed. It's time to go back to school and resume our studies, and hopefully no one else will show up on the Midnight Channel. But, it wouldn't be much of a game if people just stopped showing up. So thanks for watching, Phantasm Mask here, signing out.